Today we will be going over lesson 10 for second grade. So here on the first page it asks how many flowers are there below? Count by fives to find the correct answer. So we know that each cluster has five flowers. So to find out how many there are in total we just add five. So five plus five is ten. Ten plus five is fifteen. And then 15 plus 5 is 20. So this would be C. And another way to find this, if it's quicker for you, you can always just do 5 times 4. And that will also give you the same answer. Number 2, count by 10s from 60 to 110 to fill in the blanks below. So 60, so if we count by tens, they're asking us to add 10, so 60 plus 10 is 70, so it'd be 70, 70 plus 10 is 80, 80 plus 10 is 90, 90 plus 10 is 100, and 100 plus 10 is 110, so the answer here would be these four numbers, and that is A. Next, number three says count by 100s from 300 to 900 to complete the table below. So 300, so it says count by 100, so we're going to add 100. So this 300 plus 100 is 400, then plus 100 is 500, 500 plus 100 is 600. 600 plus 100 is 700, and then 800, and then 900. But we are only counting the numbers that we filled in, so 400, 600, 700, and 800. So the answer to this one would be C. Oh, wait. For this one, you include 500 as well because these numbers are all in between 300 and 900. Okay, second page. Number one, how many fish are there below? Count by fives to find the answer. So this is the same thing as the flower question. So we know that each group has one, two, three, four, five fish. So all we got to do is add five. So five plus five is 10. 10 plus five is 15. So that is B, and the other method would be to multiply, so 5 times 3, it would also give us 15. And if you want to know where 3 comes from, it's because we have 3 groups of 5 fish. Okay, number 2. Each drawer in the dresser has 5 pairs of socks. How many pairs of socks are there in 4 drawers? So here on the right or left, it says number of drawers. Here it says number of pairs. So we know that in one drawer, there are five socks. Two drawers have ten socks. So as we can see, each number increases by five. So we keep doing plus five, plus five. So we know that here it would plus five as well. So 15 plus five is 20. Next, it says count by tens from 45 to 85 to fill in the blanks below. So 45 plus 10 is 55. 55 plus 10 is 65. 65 plus 10 is 75. And then 75 plus 10 is 85. So it would be these three numbers. So the answer would be B. Okay, third page that asks, how many bananas are there below? Count by fives to find the answer. Okay, so we now know that each group has one, two, three, four, five bananas. So we count how many groups of bananas we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So if we did 5 times 6, we would get 30. If you wanted to do, just do the addition rule, it would be 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, and then 25 plus 5 is 30. So it would be B. Number two, each box has 10 crayons. How many crayons are in three boxes? So we could do either or. So first method is to just know that because we keep adding 10, we just have to do 20 plus 10 to get our answer, which is 30. Other method is because there's 10 crayons and or 10 crayons in each box and there's three boxes, we could just do 10 times three, which is 30 which is B. Okay, last one, uh, count by 10 from 8 to 58 to complete the table below. So we have 8 plus 10 is 18, 18 plus 10 is 25, or 28, sorry, uh, plus 10 is 38, plus 10 is 48, plus 10 is 58. So we have these numbers. And that would give us B. Last page. This time, instead of counting by fives, we're going to be counting by tens. And the same method as before, we could just do one, two, three. So three groups of 10 is 10 times three, which is 30. Or you could just do 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30. Number two, each fish tank has five fish. How many fish are in seven tanks? So first method is to just do multiplication, which is five times seven equals 35. And if you haven't learned multiplication yet, that's okay. You could just fill out this table here. So we know that each number we're adding five. So five plus five is 10, five plus uh, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30, and then 30 plus 5 is 35. So this would be C. Okay, last question, last page. Count by fives from 65 to four, uh, 490 to complete the table below. So. Uh, 465 plus 5 is 47, and then 75, and then 480, and then 480 plus 5 is 45, and then 490. So the answer to this question would be A. And that is all.